Hello! I'm back with another Lush haul from the United Kingdom. So, <laughs> so um, yep, it's a addicting to buy from Lush. So, I spent a lot, no, too much money at Lush again. So, first, it came with Lush Times. So, for the Westwood on it. Ooh. Okay. And, you know, it's got my bill and stuff. Wee. So. So, last video, we spent most of the video talking about the products, but now let's start by talking about how you do this. So, um, one thing to keep in mind is not every product on the UK website is actually cheaper. It, is, it can be, but not everything. For example, lip balms are not cheaper, um, fun, the moldable soap is not cheaper, and, you know, other things are not much cheaper, like shower gels and soaps. So, um, with, with shipping, it might not be a good idea to buy from the UK unless you're, you know, you don't visit the shops at all. So, so yeah, and what else? Hmm. So also, when buying the products, make sure you keep the weight of, of the product under 2 kilograms because that's the cutoff for before the price is dramatically increased for shipping. So make sure, make sure you do that. When you go choose shipping options, they'll show you what's available to you and if only the like 30 pound option appears or something don't use that one to, uh, I don't really have a surefire way to tell you how you know what fits under there until you go to checkout but you can keep going back and changing what's in your cart and you know just if you know try to subtract the heaviest items first and then go from there I guess you know see if it see if it works so like last time I did two orders cuz I just you know it was too heavy so yeah. And another thing, make sure you ask for samples. Because I got like seven samples this time. That's pretty rad. So so do that. I asked for like things that were hard to get, like a retro and UK exclusive and stuff like that. But um when I see other people online doing this, they tell me they usually take some one week to get their stuff. It takes me two weeks for some reason, probably because every time I get my boxes it looks like someone went through them because they're afraid I'm you know, they're smuggling bombs to me or something. I don't know. And <laughs> I'm not really sure, but it takes me two weeks to feel like, okay. So, and also the listing, the listed prices on the British website is not what you'll be paying out of pocket. Um, right now, the exchange rate is about, um, the British pounds, about, about 50 per, wait, yeah, so it's about 150 US to one British pound. So, so, um, but the price listed on the website is not what you pay because they're, that's with tax included and since we are foreign we don't pay the same tax um, when you do go to check out sometimes they do show you the, the price that you, well, you'll actually be paying out of pocket so uh, but sometimes it doesn't I don't really know how that works just take a look at it I don't know <laughs> and um, just yeah I guess let's move on so let me show you what I got this time. Um, some of them are repeats from last time, but that just must mean they're good, right? Um, <laughs> so this, I got a big tub of last time. This is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. It's basically um, a moisturizer you use in the shower. There we go, and it smells really, really good. And it's, um, it's not really that cheap to get in America, but it's actually still expensive from the UK, but at least it's not as bad because, let's see, the UK price after after shipping, it's like twenty three forty four, you know, converted, and if I bought it at my local store, it would be like $33 and then tax. So, hey, it's the most expensive item I have on here, but I'm addicted, whoops. So, too late for me. And this is a new product I'm gonna try out. It's called the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. It's new for me, it's not new for Blush. So, it's, you know, it's a shower gel slash exfoliating thingamabobber. It's, um, it's like wicked blue. And I haven't used it yet, but I've been told it's exactly like the consistency of the big shampoo. And I got this because it's a lot cheaper on the on the UK website, so I wanted to try it. And I should probably stop using my expensive 
ocean salt to scrub my body once in a while. That's probably too expensive. So, rub, rub, rub. And that one, I think it's like 20 something in America. Let's see. Uh, there we go. So it's like $22 bought in America, and even with shipping, this is 12 So, so, yippee ki yay. And speaking of big, this is big. This is the the sea salt shampoo. Ooh, look at that. Sea salt sham shampoo that, that I've grown fond of. I actually still have some of this left, and I actually have other Lush shampoos I should be using, but this... This might be a gift. So, so normally, bought at the store in America, that's gonna be uh, $27 and then some tax, but um, I got this for $17 including shipping from the UK website. Sweet. And, and yeah. This guy, last time I got the tea tree tonal water, and now this time I got the aroma water. I actually, uh, halfway through my original bottle of that, I realized I was a little bit too astringent for me. So I try the aroma water, and I really, I don't know, it's better for me. I guess I'm not as oily as I thought I was or something. So there we go. Um, I've used up my little bottle completely just like now. So now I have a extra yay and yeah so no, that's about normally in America that is like what 20 bucks let's see yeah 22 dollars for that size and with shipping from UK that's only 11 so that's that's what like 50 percent 50 yeah so damn <laughs> okay and in the in the sh in the shampoo area, I failed to mention, I got the new solid shampoo bar. Which, um, since I tried the Scenic last time, I actually... I actually, when I came back from a three-week vacation, people thought my hair grew longer. So I was like, alright, I mean, that sounds good. So now I got the new shampoo bar, which is actually supposed to make your hair grow. So I'm gonna be Godiva soon. Oh yeah. So... So I'm gonna try this next time, once my everything else runs out, but that might take a while. So so these are actually ridiculously cheap on the UK website, in my opinion. So that one is is like eight dollars with shipping. And on in America that's twelve dollars, even, you know, without tax or anything. So So that's a big difference. Woo. Okay, and this actually is not that much cheaper. This is a body butter from Dusk to Dawn. It's a newer product and it smells kind of orangey. Mm, okay. <laughs> and I didn't really save that much buying this, buying this, but I was like, oh well, I wanted to get it anyway. So, so it's like, I saved like a dollar. Oh, but it smells good. Yay. And let's see, these two I have here are the retro products and that means only available online and this one I've seen on the American website but this one I have not so uh, this was actually sent to me in in the sample in the last last order and that is be never too busy to be beautiful shower gel and it smells like a honey chrysanthemum awesome so so um, yeah so I had to buy it even though this was basically I didn't save any money buying this from the UK website, but um, because because actually there's a range of prices for the shower gels on the UK website, and this is the most expensive one on the website. But um, on the American site, it looks like everything's the same price. So this ended up being like about about ten dollars, which is basically the same as the what they sell on the American um, shower gels. So, but it smells so good, I had to have it. That's, that's the power of samples. It makes me want to buy stuff. And this one is a coconutty conditioner that I hear people like. Let's see. It's a little bit herbally too. Coconut and herbally. Okay, so this is 
something that I got for my boyfriend because he still has some shampoo left over and he has no no conditioner to match it with. You know, he, the, he's got some I Love Juicy and he needs some conditioner to go with that. So here we go. Yeah. And now, time for the samples, my favorite. So this time I got seven samples, which is ridiculous. I only bought like eight things. I mean, that's crazy. Woo. So, let's see. So, first of all, I got another sample of the Be Never, Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful shower gel. And it smells just as good as a sample as it does the, the bottle. Go figure. And, uh, and then also, this I got last time as well. It's a Slammer shower gel. It's kind of zippy, citrusy, but I didn't like this one as much, so I didn't get it. But, hey, whatever. Free stuff. Woo. And this one it sounds really interesting. It's the Sonic Death Monkey shower gel. And I don't know what that's a reference to. Probably a song or something or a band. And it's a delectable chocolate coffee and lime shower concoction. Mm, I just got some on my lip. Mm, but mm, it's, it's interesting. I'll give it a shot. See if it's any good in the shower. And, um... That's it for the shower gels, the messy part. Oof. And um, this actually is... I thought it was hilarious that this was written with pen because the it spanked me with saplings. This looks like a shower jelly. Mm. It smells very green. <laughs> so, I've never used the shower jellies before, so... Wiggle, 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 wiggle. We'll give it a shot. And next, I have the Skin Drink Moisturizer. Which is interesting to try, you know. I get, I'm gonna get some, I guess, some moisturizing going on for my face. And the last two are body butters. So, this is the strawberry feels forever, and this is the snuggle. So, uh, last time I bought the Buffy body butter, it's kind of left my bathtub quite slippery and. It left too much residue on my bathtub. I stopped using it. And, you know. So, we'll see if these ones are better. Because the Buffy one had, like, kind of granules in it. So, hopefully, these are a little better. And, um, I think this one's suggesting I use it in the in the shower, the snuggle. But, I I think this one I could just use, like, lotion. So, so we'll see. But, um, I can't. I really smell them very well in the wrapping, sorry. <laughs> so yeah. So that's it for my Lush haul. And let's see, total savings is is about as much as what I, percentage-wise, about what I saved last time. But I know that I didn't save any money buying this, but it's not available in America, so I had to. And, you know, I didn't save much money buying the massage bar but everything else was relatively good for for how how big chunk of change you save so total i saved 37.22 percent off this order buying from uk so yeah so i'll have the spreadsheet down below just like last time so you can see the details of what i saved and stuff like that so if you have any questions or anything's confusing just let me know i'll do my best to help you so until next time lushies <laughs>